Hello everyone, I'm Rong Huiyou from Fudan University. Today, I will talk about our novel method, Deep Graph Go, for large-scale protein function prediction. With the rapid development of sequencing technology, the number of protein sequences has been explosively increased. And early months, there are around 220 million proteins in Uniprot. However, only half a million proteins are nearly annotated and reviewed. Gene ontology has been widely used for annotating protein function, and only around 120,000 proteins have geo annotations with experimental evidence. There is a huge gap between explosively increased protein sequences and very few functional annotations. Therefore, to reduce this huge gap, developing an effective and efficient automatic protein function prediction method of great significance. CO has more than 44,000 biological concepts covering three domains molecular function, biological process, and uh, cellular components. CO has a DEX structure. If a dual term is assigned to a protein, all ancestors of this dual term are associated to this protein too. The graph shows dual terms of protein Q58DXH in MF. Regarding each dual term as the label, and each protein as an instance, AFP can be damaged as a large-scale multi-label classification problem. The problem is challenging. GEO is a structured ontology. Each protein is associated with many labels. There are large variations in the number of GEO terms per protein. There are a large number of studies for AFP. It can be divided into several categories, sequence-based, network-based, structure-based, and multi-source-based methods. The most related methods are network-based methods. Notice that the PPI network is not connected across different species. GMAI, Mashup, and Serious DCA are free representative rep traditional network-based methods. GMAI is based on a label propagation algorithm, and the Mashup and the Serious DCA are both based on a modified random walk. DeepNF and Graph2Go are two representative deep learning and network-based methods. Both DeepNF and Graph2Go use an autoencoder or a graph autoencoder to get a semantic representation of each protein based on network, and then trend SVM or DNN based on these representations. There are several limitations of existing network-based methods. Almost all network-based methods focus on only network information totally ignore other important information, such as protein sequence. And all these methods is species-specific, trend-independent single model for each species. In addition, the network node embedding and function prediction are usually two separated stages in these methods. Furthermore, these methods usually only use term-centric evaluation. For overcoming these limitations, we propose Deep Graph Go, a novel end-to-end -end deep learning-based method which takes advantage of both protein sequence and network information for graph neural network. This figure shows the architecture of Deep Graph Go. Deep Graph Go has two inputs, PPI network with n proteins as graph G and the sparse binary ve feature vectors for n proteins. The binary feature vectors are generated by integral scan, where each element shows the 
presence or absence of a protein domain family or motif. First, the binary feature vector of each protein is transformed into a low dimensional dense vector by a fully connected layer to be used as the initial representation vector. The graph convolutional layer updates the representation vector of each node to capture high order information through graph edges by renewing the vector using load of neighboring nodes. Finally, the model predicts scores of field terms for each protein by an output layer. The loss function we used was binary cross entropy. Although PPI network is not connected across different species, GCN layer only aggregates representation of each node from its neighboring nodes. It allows deep graph go to train single nodes proteins in all species and use much more training samples than other network based members. This table shows the statistic of training validation and testing sets. We used all data experimentally annotated before January 2018 as training sets. All non-knowledge proteins experimentally annotated in 2018 as validation sets and all non-knowledge proteins experimentally annotated in 2019 as testing set of validation and testing sets we used the same 17 target species as CFA4. Note that deep graph goal was trained by proteins in 17 target species appearing in both training set and the PPI network. While competing methods based on protein sequence were trained by proteins in the whole training set. We compare deep graph goal with five baseline methods plus KN, LR integral, net KN, difficult CN, difficult plus. Plus KN, LR integral, and net KN are the most important components of the state of the art in number method net goal. Plus the net KN are KN classifier based on homology similarity of PPI network respectively. LRI Pro uses the same Intro feature as Deep Graph Go to train logistic regression for each dual term independently. Deep Go CN uses raw protein sequences as inputs and a convolutional layer and a Boolean layer to obtain representation of protein. Deep Go Plus uses a consensus ensemble method to integrate Deep Go CN and a diamond based KN. We also compared deep graph goal with three most representative network based methods GMAI, CLSDCA, and DeepNF in specific spaces. We used FMAX and AOPR as the invariation matrix. FMAX is protein centric, which has been used in CFA as the main evaluation metric and AOPI is widely used for multi-label classification. Following network-based methods, we also used MAOPI as the term-centric evaluation metric. This table shows the performance comparison of deep graph goal and all competing methods, including BLAST-KN, LR Interpro, NetKN, DeepGoal CN and DeepGoal Plus. DeepGraph Go achieved the best performance of both FMAX and AOPR in all three geo domains, especially for BPO and CCO. NetKN achieved the second best performance in BPO. This is consistent with widely accepted hypothesis that proteins interacting in the same network tend to participate in the same biological process. Not that the sequence-based deep learning method, deep CN, did not perform well in all three domains. 
This result indicates that encoding protein sequences by a simple one-dimensional convolutional neural network is hard to capture the most helpful information for AFP. The left table reports the performance of deep graph go and the methods over proteins in human and mouse. Deep graph go outperformed all competing methods in 11 out of 12 settings. Deep graph go has a notable multi species training strategy, which uses proteins of all species in a single model at once. To understand the advantage of this feature of using the network of all 17 species in a training set at once, we considered two variants of deep graph go trend with proteins in the target species only and trend with proteins in 16 species other than the target species. The right table reports the performance of deep graph go and its two variants in human and mouse. Deep graph go achieved the best performance in 9 out of 12 settings. This result indicates that multi-species training strategy is effective for AFP. Meanwhile, even without using target disease for training, deep graph go still achieved a relatively good performance. This result indicates that deep graph go can make function prediction of proteins whose species not in training set. Existing network-based methods focus more on the term-centric metric or a specific species. So, we compare deep graph go with three most representative network-based methods. GMAI, CLS, DCA, and DeepNF over human and mouse in term-centric and pair-centric manners. This table reports performance of deep graph go and uh, the three complete methods. Deep graph go achieved the best performance in 10 out of 12 settings. This table shows the performance of deep graph go two state-of-the-art example methods for AFP, GeoLabor and NetGo, and DeepGraphGo LTR, which is generated by plugging DeepGraphGo into NetGo as a component to improve the performance. DeepGraphGo outperformed GeoLabor in both BPO and CCO in terms of Fmax. Well, the performance of DeepGraphGo was slightly worse than NetGo state-of-the-art method. Furthermore, Deep Graph Go LTR achieved the best Fmax and LPR in all three domains. The main feature of Deep Graph Go is the GCN layers for the input protein network. Instead of GCN layer, we train representation vectors by using a fully connected layer for the input interpro feature vectors. We call this alternative bus BN interpro. This table reports the performance of deep graph go and the BN interpro. We found that deep graph go outperformed DN interpro in all three domains. This result indicates again that the GCN layer in deep graph go is effective for improving the performance of AFP. We have designed an end-to-end -end graph neural network based model deep graph go for the changing FP problem to make the most of both protein sequence and protein network information. Deep graph go uses multi-species strategy, which allows only one single model to be trained by using proteins of all species. Extensive experiments under diverse settings revealed that deep graph go outperformed a number of compared methods such as deep go cn deep go plus and three representative network based methods gmai crus dca and deep nf 
and deep graph go can be integrated into an ensemble method as a component. Then, deep graph go LTR, a method obtained by plunging deep graph go into net go, the state of the art ensemble method of AFP, outperformed both geo labor and net go. Possible future work would be to build a single model for AFP, which can integrate all kinds of protein information, including sequence, structure, and network.